Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi. 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 Good evening. How are you? Good. Fine. Good. Fine. Nice. Great. Fine. Awesome. <laughs> Excited. Tired. Yes. Tired. Yes. A bit tired. Very tired. Pretty tired. A little bit. <laughs> After the class, you're gonna be better relaxed. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yes. Let's be optimistic and positive. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well. Welcome. Thank you. Uh -huh. So Thank prices you. yesterday. <sighs> <laughs> A lot, <laughs> many, yes, a lot of surprises cakes, yes. desserts, chocolates, flowers, serenata, <laughs> marimba, mariachi, <laughs> songs, dinners, lunch, breakfast. Uh huh. Mira. A ver quién nos va a compartir what presents and surprises they got for Mother's Day. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Pues, <laughs> uh -huh. ver. take my mom in... out for dinner. Take my mom to, no, to lunch. Oh, to have lunch. Nice. So you took your yeah. mom out for lunch. Nice. Lunch. And ¿cómo se me podría decir que agregamos también como una tarde de postre? Oh, my God. <laughs> we have desserts in the afternoon. Ah, okay. Yes. We have desserts. Thank nice. you. Nice. That's good. Somebody else? Uh -huh. mm, I have lunch on you have my home. Lunch yes. With your children. Yes. Um, my brother, my sister, I have Mary. Nice. Um, yes. I eat. ¿Cómo se dice pastel? Cake. <laughs> cake. 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 Chocolate cake. Okay. Fruit cake. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Nice, yes. good, mm -hmm. delicious, yummy. Yes, yes, it's great. Someone else? Wednesday. Mm -hmm. no, surprise. no more surprises. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> no mariachi band singing. Some others. No. Don't worry. It's no. okay. Well. In our case, we are uh, three brothers and I, so we are four siblings. We had, yes, lunch as well, because it's easier to have lunch. In my parents' house, there were so many children. <laughs> so many children at the celebration, because my brothers have a lot of children. And yes, a lot. And then uh, we had cake. Well, we had ice cream first, and then they had cake. Awesome. <laughs> it was good. Because they yes. always eat a lot of desserts. Ice cream and mm. cakes, imagine what a combination. Yes. Good. Yes, they good, love good, it. Good, good. good combination. Yes. So let's get started after this day of holiday, which was Mother's Day. We have our class, video conference class number seven. Yes. <laughs> and yes, the topic for today's class is going to be yes, no questions and short answers. We have to remember yes, no questions with do or does. Do you work in an office? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes. Do you like ice cream yes i do no i don't <laughs> so does he or does she 
have a car? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. And so on, right? Today is Wednesday, May 11 of 2022. Yes? Of course. And the objective. A ver quién nos va a ayudar. Celia, read the objective, the class objective. At the end of the of this session, mm -hmm. participants will be able to ask and answer yes, no questions. That's right. Participants will be able to ask and answer yes, no questions. Okay. To ask, preguntar, and answer, responder. Yes, no questions. Okay. So that is the main objective for today's class. Of course, the topic, as I said before, yes, no questions and short answers. All right. And we're going to start with some time expressions. I remember that we were describing some of the activities that we do, like the routines, right? At 9 a.m., in the morning, in the afternoon, at noon, at night, in the evening, as you wish, okay? These are some of the time expressions that you can use, of course. Okay, at 10, at 12, at noon, at midnight, right? In the morning, in the afternoon, during the day, at 6, at 4, at 3. For example, they say in the morning, I check emails and answer calls. So you take the color yellow. If you take... The color red at noon, at noon, my colleagues and I have lunch. Those are two examples. Of course, what about at 9 a.m.? In my case, at 9 a.m., I have a break. I have a coffee break. Sometimes I drink coffee, sometimes I don't. <laughs> but it's my break at 9, <laughs> all right? Sometimes I just chat with my friends. All right, in the afternoon, I, what do I do in the, well, I usually teach, but something extra, I, well, I answer emails, I check reports, yes, I grade assignments sometimes, at night, I teach again. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I have dinner. I talk to my dog sometimes. <laughs> okay. I have a different class. I teach adults. Yes. So I can say different things, right? These are some of the time expressions that we can use to describe activities that we do during the day, during different time. I mean, yes, different time of the day, different periods of time. All right, let's see. Who wants to participate? I think I have done for at least three orations with these three, with one of these expressions. Or someone who can say it, who thinks it can help us. Volunteers, raise your hand. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. <laughs> Ya no recuerdan cómo levantar la mano virtual. No, please. Buscando la gente. Muevan el mouse. Cuando no encuentren el, el, el menú de Zoom, muevan el mouse. Y ahí están. ¿Quieren ver? Ay, raise your hand. No me sale nadie. Nobody. Impossible. Yes, a Mari. A Mari le cano a levantar la mano. A Mari, tell me. Hi, teacher. Hey. Uh, in the morning, I made my leg. My leg. You make? In the morning, I made my leg. My, no. Latte? What is that? My latte. Coffee. Uh -huh, latte. La, uh -huh, latte. Because it's a, it's a word in French. My latte. Mm -hmm. My latte. Yes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Any other? 
¿Con alguna otra expresión? Mm -hmm. In the morning, I make myself coffee, right? Or a latte, a cappuccino. Uh -huh. Somebody else? In the morning, I make breakfast and lunch. Oh my God, you cook in the morning. <laughs> okay. I cook. Yes, I make myself. Okay, lunch, well, breakfast and lunch. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you take lunch to your work. Uh huh. Right. That's right. All right, perfect. Someone else? Nice, Carla. Yo, bueno, yo, in the afternoon, I make a t-shirt. You make t-shirts. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Norma. Hello. Hi. Um, hi. In the morning, um, I have my breakfast. Um, in the afternoon, I have my lunch. Uh, Marrying uh, to my friends. Um, in the evening night, I have um, breakfast. No, dinner. No, I have dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have dinner. Mm -hmm. And class two. Yes, okay, in the evening. I have yes. dinner in English class. Nice. Yes. It is. Yes. Perfect. Hello. Hello. In the morning. I take my daughter to a school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. In the morning, I take my daughter to school. Yes, Milagro. Um, bueno, in the morning, I take my coffee and breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, after uh, I take a shower. Uh, I drive to my work for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, quiero ver cómo puedo decir uh, my 10 minutes y mi hora de entrada. My, my I check. start work. Mm -hmm. uh, I start work is uh, 80 30. At 8 30. 8 30. Mm -hmm. And I check emails. Uh, mm -hmm. I make for, from calls. Uh, and I delivery plane tickets. Really? <laughs> How interesting. In the afternoon, mm -hmm. uh, maybe I have uh, lunch. I take a lunch. Mm -hmm. that, um, I check I drive in. <laughs> I, I drive, 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 drive. Uh -huh. <laughs> I continue delivering checks. You continue delivery checks. Okay. Tickets. Nice. Flight tickets. All Thank right. you. Nice. Perfect. Somebody else? Uh -huh. Somebody else. Somebody else. No, si están calladitos. Ya voy a decir okay. nada. No. Somebody else. Por... Yes. Ay, se le solo se ríe. Uh -huh. Ya se me sale aquí. Hi. Hi. Um, tengo que hacer que ellos en cada uno de sus tiempos. Bien, yeah, cualquier, cualquier actividad que usted hace, cualquiera de esas expresiones de tiempo. Um, okay. In the morning, I go to the shower. Tomo un baño. I take a shower. I take a shower, pardon. okay. Mm -hmm. um, later, I go to work. Mm -hmm. In the afternoon, um, I go shopping. Ah, I go shopping. For food. Um, be careful. Concierto, ¿cómo sería? Oh my God! Tickets for a concert. Mm, concert. Uh, tickets for a concert. What concert? 
Ajá. Alejandro Sanz. Sí. <risa> la descubrimos. <risa> y a la mamá le dijo que no, no me quiere. <risa> Ay, <risa> No bueno. quiere preferir y uno aquí deseando. Ay, lo siento. Sorry. Sorry. Nice. What else? Era manera de ejemplo, no es cierto. Ah. It was only an example. Ok. Thanks. All right. Bueno, ya que participaron algunos, yo sé que otros participarán en la próxima actividad porque déjenme tomar la tendencia. I almost forgot. But here we go. Wednesday 11. Norma, ya la escuché por ahí. But say present. <laughs> Norma. Hello, Norma. Hello, present. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Celia? Present. Claudia? Present. Concepción Marina? Absent. Damaris? Present. Present. Elsie Milagro? Present. Present. Yes. Ever. Alexander? Present. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Y yes, se tiene que escuchar su press para que la attendance cuente, ¿ok? <laughs> It is... You say present. Present. You say present, exactly. Joana, Michelle. Present. Hi, Joana. Joana, Stephanie. Juan Ramón. Present. Hi. Hi. Judith, Anamín. No yet, no he llegado. Ah, aquí está. <laughs> Sorry. Let me correct. Carla? Present. Present. Yes, Lisette Amariles. Está here. Marcela? Present. Hi. Marcela, didn't. <laughs> Ten last class. Ok, Mariana? Mariana? No yet. Marina Yancy. No. Present. Hi. Hi. Mir Mirna Lisset. Present. Okay. Mónica. Mónica, Mónica. No yet. Tania. Present. All right. En Raquel Noemí Luna. Present. Hi. All right, thanks. Well, I wish I could show you the attendance on the screen, but I'm not allowed to do it, okay? So that's why. All right, perfect. Okay, as we were completing this exercise, we were participating and saying uh, some of the activities that we do at different times, okay? All right, perfect. Okay, since last class, I remember that I emphasized this the spelling, okay? For the letters, okay, for the verse in third person that ends in these letters, we add ES, okay? CH, S, SH, or X. Watch, watches, guess, guesses, finish, finishes, go, goes, fix, fixes. And for the verse ending in a Y preceded by a consonant, we change the Y to IES. Study, studies, carry, carries, fly, flight. Okay, this is only for the third person. He, she, it in affirmative. Yes? I say he goes to school. Yes? She fixes computers. Yes, the class finishes at 10. Yes, in affirmative sentences for the third person, we change the verb. We add S or ES. So there's this exercise. Charlie is he. 
So the verb is tidy. What is the correct form? Charlie, sometimes. Uh -huh. Aquí el tú lo van a ignorar porque se lo han puesto por decir la forma infinitiva del verbo. Por ejemplo, el verbo arreglar en este caso. To tidy. Pero solo vamos a tomar en cuenta que si es tercera persona le vamos a agregar es o es. Yes. Yes. Sí. Va, entonces, el primer ejemplo sería Charlie sometimes I need Ajá. Uh -huh. Tie yes. Mm -hmm. Vamos a cambiar la y porque está precedida por una consonante sí. y digo tidies. So Charlie sometimes tidies his room. Christine does does her homework. El do para tercera persona en afirmativo se convierte en does. Yes. Tom and Charlie. Ahí sí. serían they. Ajá, ahí no cambia. Simplemente sería take. Yes, Tom and Charlie take photos. Sara often... Ladies. Aquí, ¿qué pasa? Solo le pongo la S. No cambia la Y a I y S. ¿Por qué? Porque la Y está precedida por una... Vocal. Por una power. Entonces, no cambia nada. Yes, solo cuando esté precedida por una consonante, ahí sí. En este caso, si yo aquí pongo otra, a I mí mean, si la cambio ahí, ahí latina, aquí tendría una sola chorrera de vocales y no podría ni pronunciarla, ¿verdad? Entonces, Sara often buys new dresses. The doll always uh -huh, runs in the park. They always eat. Eat. They. ¿Le agrego ese al verbo? No. No. They always eat at one o'clock. My mother wears. Wears. My mother always wears long dresses. Mm -hmm. My friend. Needs. Needs. Right. My friend is he or she. My friend needs glasses. We often talk. Talk. Okay. We often talk. We, no S to the verb. We often talk to our friends. My sister and I. My sister and I is we. Right? No se ve. ¿Qué no se ve? El verbo está tapado. Really? Go. Yes. Go. Oh my God. Go. My, uh -huh. my sister and I. Go. 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 Normal, right? My sister and I go to the cinema on Saturday. I look. I look. I look at the birds when I go to the park. And my cousin. Yes. My cousin is mi primo o mi prima. Entonces ahí sería. Use. Mm -hmm. Uses. Uses. Yes, his laptop every day. All right. Can I delete? Can I erase? Yes. All right. Okay. So, let me show. Aquí hay algunos mistakes. Mistakes son errores a propósito, ¿verdad? En las oraciones o en las questions. ¿Qué es lo que tienen que hacer ustedes? Encontrar el error y corregirlo. Eso ya lo hicimos la vez pasada. Ha parecido. No sé si se recuerda. Yes. Yes. Bye. Entonces, déjenme crear los breakout rooms. I'm going to create, well, yes, six breakout rooms y les mando el screenshot. Yes.
No, señora, me toca. Bueno, empecemos. Ok. La primera. Do, do he like basketball? Does, Sería, he, does, like. Uh -huh. does, does he like? Does he like? Like. Uh -huh. Does he like? Basketball. Vamos turnándonos uno. Uh -huh. Vaya. Sí, a la segunda. Dale, no, dale. I like eating pizza. Sería I like. Uh -huh. Sin sí, es. Sin es. Sí. Ya sí. Chidas, her. Chidas sería ahí. Uh -huh. Oh, pues she does her homework in the service bus. On the service. The film finishes at eight. Se le agrega ES. The film finishes. Mm -hmm. My friends goes on holiday next week. Mi amigo, pero sí está bien porque goes no sería de sino they. Go. Ajá, porque es ellos. They. They ah, go. They. Sí, they. Por amigos, sí, friends. Ajá. Repitan, repitan cuál fue el ah. error en ese. Go sería go porque es my friends, o sea, mis amigos. Ellos. Sería plural. Sí, yo tengo. Porque yo dijera. He. Like basketball. Eh, a él le gusta el basketball. Pero no tendría que estar. Pienso yo. Sí. Y dos. Y dos. Dos. Oh, este sí. Sí. The film finishes sería EF. Mm -hmm. film. Terminaría en finish, nada más. O oh, está correcta. Finish. No, no. Film finish. finish. Bueno, yo leí dos finishes. Finish. Uh, Sí, porque es finishes. Termina en... O oh, finish. Ay, que me confunde. Oh, sí, es, 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 es porque termina en... En ese. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Ajá, termina en una consonante. My friend goes. Hola. Al parecer, mis otras dos compañeras las sacó la plataforma. Really? Sí. Ok, entonces lo voy a poner a usted en otro grupo. No te preocupes. Ah, va, está bien. Ok. <laughs> Uh -huh. Corregir las que están Las que están incorrectas uh -huh. Eso creo que es lo que vamos a hacer uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vale, Veamos entonces. entonces Comencemos con la primera Dice Do he like uh -huh. basket uh -huh. Entonces uh -huh. ¿Qué la ficha? Está bien. No es y no es presente. Nicole Kidman act in a love of film. No sé, eso está bien. 
Creo que el love está de más. The love, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Nicole Kidman act in a lot of films. Sí. Y yo creo que cuando, cuando la Está de mala S en la siguiente. We play in the garden at, at Está de mala S, ¿verdad? Es we play. We play. Ajá. Le agrega el IS o no. No, así queda. Tal cual. Play. La última está bien, ¿o no? Our teacher talk very clearly. Creo que está bien. Our teacher talk very clearly. Pues se escucha bien. Sí. Hello. <laughs> Just two people. Hello. I can hear you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Welcome. Welcome back. Finish the exercise. Yes. Did you finish? Nice. No, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, don't worry. It's all right. We're gonna do it together. It's no entendí mucho. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. It's fine. Let's do drawing. Okay. Veamos. ¿Cuál es el error en la primera? Do he like basketball? ¿Cuál es el error? What's the mistake? Does he like? Exactly. Este do tendría que ser das. Das. Este. Does he like basketball? ¿Por qué es? He, ¿verdad? Entonces, para he, she, it, no uso do, sino que uso does. Does. Uh -huh. I like eating pizza. I likes, ¿está correcto? Like. Ajá, esta S no es necesaria acá. ¿Por qué? En la S solo es necesaria en el verbo cuando diga he, she, or it, cuando sea un sujeto en tercera persona. No necesariamente tiene que decir he o she. Puede decir my brother, my boss, my uh -huh. best friend. Pero yo sé que me refiero a él o a ella. Yes? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She do her homework. She do her homework. ¿Esto está correcto? No, ¿cuál es el error? She does. She does. No. Aquí tendría que ser she does. 
She does her homework. ¿Por qué el verbo do para tercera persona cambia a does? He does. She does her homework. Okay. The film finished at eight. The film finish, finishes. Finishes. Aquí falta. Cambia a dot. The letter E, right? Finishes at eight. Porque como termina el verbo finish en SH, entonces le tengo que agregar ES. The mm. film finishes at eight. Okay, my friends goes. ¿Qué está de más? Finish. Go on holiday next. Oh. Ah, my friends, ya está en plural, o sea, son ellos. They. So my go. friends go nada más. El go está de mal, right? My friends oh. go. Go. Si aquí no tuviera una S, si solo estuviera hablando de un amigo, my friend, ahí se diría goes. ¿Ya? Yeah. yeah. Okay. She carries her little sister to the car in the morning. Aquí cuál es el error. Que como la Y, o sea, la Y está precedida por una consonante, aquí tendría que cambiar a... Yes. I... Carriers. Y... Es. Tendría I que is. decir carries. Carries. She carries her little sister to the car in the morning. Nicole Kidman act in a lot of films. Mm -hmm. Ajá, aquí necesitamos la S. Nicole Kidman acts in a lot of films. We play. We play. We play. La S. Play. La S. ¿Por qué no es he and she? Es we. We play in the garden. A break. Our teacher talked very clearly. Talks. Talks. Ay, no, la Talks. clase de ahora no la he entendido yo. <laughs> Hoy es... Talks. Talks. Our ah, teacher no. talks. I'm sorry. It's okay. No lo estamos haciendo el repaso de la clase pasada. Ok. Don't worry. Bye. Vamos a ver. En este ejercicio habían errores en oraciones afirmativas y solo había una sola pregunta. ¿Sí? Estamos haciendo... Sí. Repaso del simple present. Es algo que mantenemos siempre en perspectiva, ¿verdad? En cualquier tiempo en inglés, obviamente, van a haber oraciones afirmativas, oraciones negativas. En la clase pasada dijimos que en las oraciones afirmativas, en simple present, cuando yo hable en tercera persona, o sea, él, ella, o eso, o sea, he, she, it, al verbo se le tiene que agregar. Es, sí. S o ES. ES. Right? Uh -huh. Yes. Entonces, si el sujeto en este caso es I, no es tercera persona, es primera persona. Es yo. primera persona. I like, no digo I likes. ¿Ya? Uh -huh. En el caso de she, es tercera persona, entonces no puedo decir nada más do, tengo que decir do. does. She does. Uh -huh. The film es la película. El verbo es Finish, finish, pero como hay que agregarle S o ES, en el caso de finish, termina en SH, entonces le agrego ES, no solamente le e puedo agregar la, la S, porque entonces me quedarían que es tres consonantes y no tiene sentido, difícil de pronunciar. Entonces digo finishes. Finishes. Yes. My friends, ya son varios, es como que diga they. Uh -huh. No puedo decir goes, tengo que decir go. Go, go. Uh -huh. No cambia, para I, you, uh -huh. we, they, el verbo no cambia. Exacto. Uh -huh. She, she carries, she carry, o sea, el verbo carry, llevar, termina en Y, o sea, termina en una Y, no puedo solamente agregar la S porque está precedida por una consonante. A diferencia del verbo play, 
está precedida por una vocal, ahí sí solo pongo la S. Ajá. Pero si está precedida por una consonante, esa Y se transforma en I y luego agrego IS. ES. Ok. Ok, ok. Ok, perfecto. Thank you. Ahí vamos, don't worry. ¿Algo más? ¿Something else? Mm, ok, thank you. It's all right. Cuando la consonante, consonante es precedida. Ajá. O... Vamos a ver en este exercise. ¿Cuáles son con don't y cuáles son con doesn't? ¿Cuáles oraciones negativas llevarían el don't y cuáles llevarían el doesn't? Son los mismos, ajá, los mismos pronombres los que se ven afectados. El don't siempre va a ser para I, you, we, they. Y el doesn't para los tres pronombres caprichosos que yo les dije, que son los sí. que dan lata. He, she, it. Uh -huh. ¿Yes? Bill, que tienen que ser caprichosos. <ríe> Bill, ¿cuál pronombre sería? He, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿qué digo? Bill doesn't. don't or Bill doesn't? Doesn't. doesn't. Bill doesn't, doesn't play doesn't. tennis every uh -huh. Sunday. Ajá. Para eso no es cuestión de que escriban en su cuaderno. I, you, we, they, don't. He, she, it, doesn't. Para hacer negative sentences. Pero le dio todavía todo el repaso de la clase pasada. Affirmative and negative statements in simple present. Yes? Ni hemos empezado la clase hoy. No yet. No yet. Bye. Ok, en los mismos grupos vamos a resolver este ejercicio, ok? Empecemos. Bueno. Okay. Entonces comencemos. Bueno, ya habían resuelto. Bill doesn't play tennis every song. Uh -huh. We, como es de nosotros, sería don't. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kitty, que sería ella, ¿verdad? Sería doesn't. Uh -huh. doesn't. doesn't. Like to eat fish. Chan, igual, sería doesn't. Se refiere a una persona, Chan. Chan mm -hmm. doesn't wear long dress. Sí. I don't like. Mm -hmm. To get up early. Get up early. Jan, si ¿sí hablan de vos. <laughs> de mí también. Me too. <laughs> I don't like to get up early. <laughs> Pero si sería Jan, Jan si doesn't like to get up early. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ay, no sé qué significa Erwin, no me... ¿qué es? Temprano, Temprano. levantarse temprano Es para he, she Y vamos a ver It It, It. It. Uh -huh. okay. Creo que ese, Eso es el orden que tenemos que, que interpretar Porque aquí están las primeras personas Y están en las terceras personas también Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bueno, okay, entonces vamos a hacer el ejercicio. Entonces, el primer my my cousin don't my cousin mm. don't doesn't no Italian no es well. da es doesn't my no okay my bro y, y my brother es cual también, ¿no? Ah, my brother. Ah, esas dos serían, ¿verdad? Se me, se me hace como un eco. A mí también. 
No sé. Y se oye ronco como que por un hombre. <risa> My brother doesn't like to get drink milk. But that doesn't. My cousin doesn't. I don't like to the walk with, with my, my dog. dog. <laughs> I ah, I'm gonna do my. Por qué no es don't? Porque está hablando de su primo, o sea, él. Es tercera persona. Tercera persona. No, it's not will. Doesn't. 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 Mm -hmm. Ocho, I don't like to walk with my dog. I don't like to. Ram, don't Ram go to the gym. Ram. Don't go to the gym. She or he doesn't. They, they, they don't, they don't understand. They don't. La diez está hablando de they. Vamos ahora a la diez. Ahí sería don't. Ajá, porque está hablando de, de, ellos. de ellos. Serían they don't. La once, ¿cómo y la 11 también, don't. ¿verdad? Guidón, ¿verdad? Sí, Guidón. La 12 sería doce. Sería doce. Sería doce. La 13 igual. Y mi doce. Igual doce en la 12. No, no, bueno, uh -huh. no sé. Sí, sí porque don't. está hablando de él. Y mi doce, doce, grow. Uh -huh. Sería Ajá, Timmy. Tim, Timmy Dawson. Entonces, 11, 12 y 13 sería el Dawson. No. No, la 12 no. y la 13 nada más. La 11 sería Don. Ah, sí, la 11 es Don, sí, así la tengo. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Don, y 11 y 12 es Dawson. 12 y 13 serían Don, Dawson. Estamos bien entonces, ¿verdad? Tenemos 10. <risa> Creo que hoy sí ya entendí. <risa> bueno. All right, finish. Yes. Yes, we finish. Nice. Let's see. Okay. Let's double check. Hmm. All right. The first one, Bill, we already did it, right? Ya lo habíamos dicho. Bill, it's going to be he. Doesn't. So it would be doesn't. Bill doesn't play tennis every Sunday. We don't. don't. We don't. Remember, this is the contraction, right? We don't go to the yeah. park. Do not. Do I do we they? Does he she eat? Does not is doesn't. 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 It doesn't. Okay, Kitty doesn't like to eat fish. Sean doesn't. Doesn't. Doesn't wear long dresses. I don't. 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 I don't like to get up early. <laughs> My brothers 
doesn't. Brother is in plural, don't. right? Doesn't. If I only say one brother in singular, it's he. But if my brothers, it's one, two, three Lawrence. brothers, right? Pl plural. So they would be don't. don't. Doesn't. My brothers don't, don't like to drink. Don't. Ah, my brother. Because it's brothers. Oh, yes, yes. Ah, don't. Yeah. It's don't. My cousin doesn't. Doesn't. Okay. My cousin doesn't. Doesn't know Italian well. Doesn't. I don't. I don't. Um. I don't like to walk with my dog. Run. Doesn't. 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 Mm -hmm. doesn't um. go to the gym. They don't. They don't. don't. They don't understand this rule. <laughs> okay, we nothing. Don't. We, we don't. don't. Okay. Don't often go to the movies. Mm -hmm. Lily. That's them. Lily does Lily does them. You say my daughter doesn't wear shorts at all. Lily doesn't wear shorts at all, right? Timmy doesn't. Doesn't. Sorry. Doesn't wear. No, doesn't grow flowers in the garden. Doesn't grow flowers in the garden. Great. Questions? Yes. Tell me. Different in, in, in seven. Number seven. My cousin doesn't. Doesn't in know. Six, my brother don't. Why? Porque el brothers ya está en plural. Son ellos, los hermanos. Ah, oh, okay. Una S ahí ya cambia todo. Oh, my ah. cousin is one. Si yo solo hubiera dicho my brother, sin la S sería mi hermano. Pero en este caso, my brothers. brothers. It's like me, I have three brothers. It's they. Brother, yes. mm -hmm. Brother. Right? Brothers. Anything else? Anything else? No more? No. Good. Perfect. No. Let me stop showing you. The eraser, se me pierde. <laughs> okay. There. We're going to continue with the manual. Let's see. Somewhere on the moment I the manual abierto. I don't know what se me hizo. Wait. One second. All right, here. Bye. Esta es la lesson que vimos on Monday. Affirmative and negative statements. ¿Sí? Para los que quizás sienten que estamos un poquito... Espérenme, vamos a estirar esto por acá. Un poquito extraviados, pues pueden irse al inicio de la unidad 2. This is page 20, daily routines, lo que vamos a escribir. Obviamente para escribir lo que hacemos... En una rutina diaria necesitamos oraciones afirmativas, oraciones negativas. Aquí tenemos el cuadro, right? Affirmative statements, negative statements. I keep track of the financial accounts. I don't keep track of the financial accounts. You know the policies and regulations. You don't know the policies and regulations. We advertise the company. We don't advertise the company. They help companies against financial loss. They don't. ¿Se fijan? Aquí ya está. El uso del don't. El doesn't. Obviamente, lo que pasa es que no han incluido ejemplos de he, she, it. Solo con I, you, we, they. Ya lo habíamos explicado en la clase anterior. Ya habíamos resuelto este ejercicio también. Yes. Para los que no pudieron estar o no lo pudieron completar, pues lo pueden completar de 
forma individual. Vaya, esto es un repaso, les decía, affirmative and negative statements. In simple present, para describir las acciones que hacemos a diario, aquellas rutinas, aquellas actividades cotidianas, ya sea en su casa o en el trabajo. Vaya. Aquí les presentan un exercise. And scramble the sentence with the words provided using the simple present. En buen cristiano esto es poner estas palabras en orden para crear oraciones. Yes? And scramble the sentence with the words provided using the simple present. Poner en orden estas palabras para crear oraciones. Keep. No puede iniciar una oración con keep porque keep es... El verbo. ¿Con qué inician las oraciones? Las statements. Con el pronombre. Sentences. Con el pronombre, con el sujeto. ¿Con quién hace la acción? Uh -huh. Que sería I, you, we, they, the company, okay. my boss, my friends. Yes. Entonces. ¿Cuál sería? They, uh -huh. they, they keep They track. keep track. Final. Of. Financial accounts, accounts. accounts. companies. Okay. They, keep track. they keep track of companies' financial accounts. What do you say? ¿Cómo nos quedaría la segunda? ¿Cuál sería la primera palabra? We don't we advertise. We don't advertise. The company on the internet. Company on internet. Yes. We don't advertise the company on internet. Okay. Number three. I take notes. Every day in the meetings. In the meetings? Every day. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I take the meetings, notes in the meetings. meetings every day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Next. Carlos and Mauricio answer. Phone at the reception. Yes, Carlos and Mauricio answer phone at the reception. That's right. But, ahí nos, tenemos más ejemplos de oraciones afirmativas, ¿verdad? Yes, iniciamos con el sujeto, luego la acción y luego el complemento. La reescribe o necesitan que lo volvamos a decir. ¿Quién se quedó? Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you need? Repeat, teacher. Repeat the sentences. Number one. Uh -huh. They keep track. Of companies financial accounts. Company financial accounts. All right. Yes. Next. Next, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We um, we don't. Advertise. Advertise the company. The company on internet. On internet. internet. Exactly. We don't. Obviously, si es una oración negativa, necesito el don't antes del verbo, ¿verdad? We don't advertise the company on internet. Uh -huh. Number three. I take notes in the meetings every day. Next. 
Carlos en Mauricio. Carlos en Mauricio. Answer the phone at the reception. Yes. Yo le agregaría el the. Answer the phone at the reception. Yes. Done. Thumbs up. Perfect. Ajá. Aquí les deja un espacio para completar las activities que ustedes hacen. Por eso dice, activities I do. Actividades que yo hago. I check emails, I write reports, I don't answer the phone. Pueden incluir afirmativas y negativas, obviamente, ¿verdad? Don, esto ya lo teníamos hecho, teacher, don't worry. <laughs> of course. Como estuvimos on vacation, <laughs> ya estuvo. Bye. Acá tenemos una pequeña conversation, igual los que ya la habían visto, ya tienen una idea. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. But Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. His, her schedule. Is the palabra da, da lata. Okay. Her schedule. That's su horario de trabajo, ¿verdad? Her schedule is very tight. It's muy apretado. O sea, está muy lleno de actividad. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesdays, sorry. On Wednesdays, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy. And on weekends? On weekends, she relaxes with her family. <laughs> Eso ya no está ahí. Ahí invente. <laughs> okay. So she's not busy on Saturdays and Sundays. All right. Chequeamos la conversation y me dice si hay algo que no. Okay. What does me, it mean bookkeeper? The bookkeeper es como el contador que lleva la contabilidad, que lleva los registros de la contabilidad. Yes. Yes. Nice. Y agents. Um, Repeat. And on Friday she agents meetings. Agents arranges. Arranges. Como, ajá. Como organizar los meetings. Organize. Arranges meetings. Yes? Yes. Okay, something else? No? Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Or how are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. But Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Mondays, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesdays, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's so busy. And on weekends? Of course, she doesn't work on weekends. <laughs> Exactly. She doesn't go to the office to the office on weekends probably. Bye. Can you say that? Read the conversation. <laughs> okay. Ahorita no lo vamos a llenar la, la, el cuadrito, sino que vamos a practicar la conversation. Bien, vamos a reorganizar los groups. Mm. 
recreate. Remember? La idea es que estemos in pairs para que podamos practicar la conversation. Se las comparto por si no tienen aún el PDF. Yes. Great. Practice the conversation. Sí. ¿Cómo se dice bus? Busy. Busy, busy. Very busy. Mm -hmm. Really. Mm -hmm. Who is Cathy? The new secretary. Her shirt is very tight. On Monday, she made main, main phone calls. Let us see what. Many phones. Many phone calls. Let us see what is report about the production. And what does she do? The other days. On Wednesday, she sent some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranged meetings. She is so busy and on weekends. Okay. okay. Ahora, um, I am Janet. Yes. Good morning, Sidney. How are you? Fine. I have many things to, to do this week. But Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday. And what does she do? She the off. She the off her day. Her days. No. Other days. It, it, what does she do? I am not ready. <laughs> and what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranges meetings. On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranged meeting. She's so busy. And the weekends? <laughs> I teacher, uh, um, teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Um, ¿Cómo se pronuncia la palabra de, de que menciona Cindy en here? Schedule. Es que. ¿Cómo que van a decir? Es que. Es que Schedule. Oh, schedule. Mm, por eso le dije esa palabra de lata, schedule. De hecho, okay. los británicos lo pronuncian como shadow. ¿Y la forma Pero correcta cómo es? es? Ambas están correctas. Lo que pasa es que los americanos lo dicen schedule. Si van a escuchar, schedule. como va a tener más acceso a American English, they will say schedule. But if you listen okay. to some British saying shadow, también es correcto. Es correcto. Es que lo voy a anotar. Es que, es, ajá, así como en español, escríbalo. Es que. Es que decimos nosotros, schedule. es que es que no me gusta. Es schedule. 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 Yeah. My schedule is very busy, decimos a veces. My, just, my schedule is terrible. ¿A ¿Qué, qué se refiere? El horario de ella. El horario. It's very thin. Very It's very tight. Tight. Very tight. Está muy, muy apretado. Ya, yeah, de hecho, schedule también se aplica, por ejemplo, en los, los horarios de los vuelos, también se aplica para, 
uh, los itineraries, por ejemplo, si usted dice, tengo que hacer todas estas actividades, this is my schedule, at 7, I have to be at the office, at 8, I have to have a meeting, then I have this other uh, report, and so on, and so on, so como todas las actividades que tiene que hacer durante el día es su schedule. Oh, when we are at the university, when we are in classes, we say, oh, we have a very tight schedule, we have so many classes. Yes. Yeah. What a coincidence. <laughs> Ahora quedaron together in a group. <laughs> yeah. So keep practicing. Okay. All right. So let's continue. I am Janet. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Just stay otra vez. Ahora me toca a mí ser la primera. Okay. Good morning, Cindy. No, I say good morning, Raquel. How you? <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Bye. I have many things to you this week, but Kathy is very busy. Really? And on Friday, she arranges many things. She is so busy and on Wednesday, on weekends. On weekends. Any questions? No questions? No, Perfect. de mi parte no. Thanks. Okay. Ahora Tania. Con Tania. Ok. Uh, pregunto yo. Bueno, sí, empiezo yo. Sí. Good morning. ¿Con quién? Siempre es Cindy, ¿verdad? Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this weekend. But Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her shoulder is very thin. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she reads reports about the production. And the on Wednesday, she sends some emails to the booker. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. Así sería, ¿verdad? Meetings. Sí, mm -hmm. arranges Meeting. meetings. She's meetings. so busy. Mm -hmm. She is so busy. And on weekends. And on weekends? Ah, ok, como pregunta, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y, y, en, como el, y en el fin de semana, on weekends. On weekends. Yes. Pero tengo que decirlo rap. ¿Cuál? Todo. Todo. ¿Quién comienza? Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Bye. I have many things to do this week, but Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On May, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does and what do she do the other day? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper, and Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy, and on weekend. Se comenzaría con Janet. Sí. Y yo sería Cindy. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do the week, but Katy is very bus busy. Really? Who is Katy? The new secretary. Here. Her qué? ¿Cómo era esa palabra? Perdón. Her show. Her show. Her show. Her show. Her show. Oh. 
her mm -hmm. schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls, letter, she writes reports about the production, the production. About, about the production. And what does she and what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some some emails. Emails. She sent some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranged meetings. Meetings. She is so busy and on weekends. Anything. Okay, voy yo otra vez, Pea. Yo me la otra. De la otra. Yo me la otra. Good morning. Si lees como. Te ayuda. Ocupada. Ocupada. Ajá. Ajá, realmente, ¿quién es Katy? La nueva mm -hmm. secretaria. E, ella o no su. Eso es uh, lo que no se significa. Ajá, su horario es muy pesado. El lunes, los lunes es verdad. Ajá. O en la mañana, no en la mañana. No, no Monday o lunes. ¿Cómo? Monday, lunes. Ok. Los lunes ella hace muchas llamadas por teléfono. Después ella escribe reportes sobre la producción. Y, ajá, y luego, ¿y qué hace ella los otros días? Eso uh -huh. le pregunto. Sí. En Wednesday, ¿qué es ese Wednesday? Miércoles. Mm, ok. En miércoles ella envía emails al contador uh -huh. y los viernes ella programa reuniones. Organiza ella es. Reuniones. Ajá, ella organiza reuniones. Ella es muy. Eh, fast, no, no es que no muy trabajadora, ocupada. algo así. Ocupada. Ocupada. Y, ajá, uh -huh. ocupada. Y en fines de semana, creo que le pregunté ahí. Ajá. Sí, tienen okay. que continuar. Para hoy okay. practicar nuevamente. Ok. ¿Quién quiere Te hacer? Las más... Voy a iniciar a contar. Que no ok. Good morning, sí. How are you? Fine. I had many things to do this week, but Katy, Katy is very busy. Really? Who is Katy? The new secretary. Her shoe is very tight. On Monday, she made many phone calls. Later, she was wild report, reports. Finish. Do you have any question about the conversation? No? No. What's easy? Difficult words. Secretary. Secretary, Secretary. is okay. <laughs> Secretary. Secretary is a, is a difficult Secretary. word. Arrange. Arranges. 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 I arrange. You arrange. But she arranges. He arranges. arranges. Mm -hmm. verbo, entonces. Sí. Es organizar, organizar meetings, uh -huh. arranges, hacer arreglos para tener una meeting. Arranges. ¿Cómo se pronuncia lo de horarios? Es, o que, es que, como decir sketch, pero schedule. Schedule. Exacto. Uh -huh. Otra palabra que, que escuché que estaba dando un poquito de dificultad es tight. Her schedule is very tight. Yes? Tight. Yes. Está muy apretado. Veamos. Hagamos el double check de la attendance. Solo nos faltaba que nos contestara present Concepción Marina. Estaba presente. Sí, creo que ya vi un poquito tarde su... No, mes. ajá, porque me escribí al chat. Ajá, es cierto. Joana Stephanie... No, ¿verdad? Eh, Lizette Amarelis. Present. Hello. Hello. Mariana Rocío. 
Nos incorporó Mariana. What happened to Mariana today? En Mónica. Present. Ahí. Solo ustedes nos faltaban, de hecho. Los demás siguen acá. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> ok. Mónica no se ha pronunciado. Mónica. ¿Cómo no? Eh, le dije present. Vale. <laughs> Y participó en el ejercicio. Ah, yeah. Of course. ¿Con quién estaba Mónica? Mónica, Mónica. ¿Con quién estaba practicando? ¿Con Mariana? No. Uh, no me fijé en el nombre. Parte que estaba practicando con Mónica. Joana Michelle. Joana All Michelle. Right. Bye. Háganos la conversación ahorita con sus nombres, vean. No voy a decir Cindy. <laughs> Ready? Yes. One, two, three, go. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Que si le dice Cindy no le va a contestar. Tiene que decirle el nombre real. <laughs> ah. <laughs> La compañera. Good morning, Joanna. How are you? Uh -huh. Michelle, don't go. Don't go to the kitchen. Pues sí, que no la he escuchado la compañera. Vaya, ahorita, pues hoy sí. Ahora ya. sí. Que no le vaya la señal. One, two, three, go. Good morning, Joanna. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week but really perdón <laughs> really uh, no todavía iba yo compañero wait 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 perdón <laughs> vuelvo a empezar pues please Hi. one two three good morning joanna how are you fine i have many things to to do this week but monica is very good Really, how, what is, eh, sería mi nombre ahí. No es otra Mónica, ya tiene una secretaria que se llama Mónica. Who is Mónica? The new secretary. Her schedule, Her schedule. Is, schedule is very tight. 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 On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what is what does she do the other day? On Wednesday, she sends so emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday. She arranges meetings. She's so busy and so busy. on weekends. Come So busy. Busy and on, on weekends? weekends? Yes. Claps. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Somebody wants to participate? Somebody else? Yeah, veo que no le gusta la democracy. Okay, Celia en Milagro. Okay. Thank you. Pero con los real names y invéntense el nombre de su secretary. <laughs> okay. Ready? You ready? Who is stars? Milagro, you start. Uh, yes. Okay. One, two, three, good. go. Um, good morning, Celia. How are you? Fine. I have uh, many things to that this week, but Cecilia is very busy. Really? Who is, Kat, uh, who is Cecilia? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. 
And what does and what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the booker, and on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy, uh, and on weekend, and on weekend, and on weekends, <laughs> and on weekends. Yes, nice. Poor Kathy, poor Celia. <laughs> no, Cecilia was the secretary, right? My yes. sister. <laughs> yeah, my sister. Nice. Okay, someone else? Hey, Marilyn, la hacemos nosotras. Yes. <laughs> yes. Action. Okay. Go. Okay, you ready, Marilyn? Hey, Marilyn? Okay, good morning, Norma. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. But Kathy is very bus very busy. Very busy. Real? What is Kathy? The new secretary, her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she make many phone calls. Later, later, she really reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On weekend, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she um, run your meeting. She is so, so busy, and on weekends. And on weekends? Ahí cuestionen que qué hace la pobre secretaria. Okay, she's really busy. She's so busy. Yes. So busy. So busy. All right. So busy. 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 Okay. Me pareció que Mirna había levantado la mano. ¿Quién era su partner, Mirna? Who was your partner? So microphone. Um, Raquel Luna. Okay, ready? Yes. Action. Yes, yes. Uh, good morning, Raquel. How are you? Fine. I have many things do you this week, but Carmen is very Busy. Really? Who is Norma? As school. Her school is very tight. On Monday, she make many phone calls, letter. She writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other day? On Wednesday, she will send some emails to the bookkeeper and on Friday, she arranged meetings. She is busy. And on the weekends, Nice. Awesome. All right. Awesome. No questions? No more questions? Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, okay. Let's continue. Mm-hmm. Some more exercises. <laughs> Well, this is easy. Lo vamos a hacer juntos. No worry. Aquí está lo que ya le explicaba, ¿verdad? Are you with the don't? Is she eat does? A ver. Solo me voy a ir diciendo cuál es el correct y yo lo voy a ir seleccionando. My brother don't play or doesn't play basketball after school. Doesn't play. Doesn't play doesn't basketball play. after school mm -hmm. because it's my brother. My grandfather don't ride or doesn't ride a bicycle. Doesn't, doesn't ride. Doesn't, doesn't ride. ride. Doesn't ride a bicycle. 
I don't read or I doesn't read a lot of books. Don't, don't, I don't read. I don't read. I know it. I don't. Yes. I don't read a lot of books. All right. They don't sleep or they doesn't sleep in the blue sofa. Don't, they, don't sleep. Sleep. they don't sleep in the blue sofa. My students don't study or doesn't study a lot of English. My students don't study a lot of English. He don't work or he doesn't work in a factory. He doesn't work. He doesn't work in a factory. My uncle don't cook or doesn't cook breakfast for me. Doesn't. Doesn't. My uncle is he, right? The teacher yes. don't speak or doesn't speak French. Doesn't speak. Doesn't speak French. Yes? Yes. Yes. All right. Perfect. Okay. Yes, no question. Llegamos a la parte de la yes, no question. ¿Con qué inicia la yes, no question? Das. das. En este caso, todos los ejemplos están iniciando con das. ¿Pero por qué? Porque todos los sujetos son he o she. O it, en el caso de our company. ¿Pero qué si el sujeto no fuera he, ni she, ni it? Fuera you, we, or they. Con cuál? Sería con do. Iniciarían con do, exacto. Pero todas las yes no question inician con un auxiliary, ya sea do or does. Yes. Does she ask for assistance? En este caso, solo vale aclarar que la palabra assistance no significa asistencia. Sí significa asistencia en español, pero no de asistir de asistir a un evento, como asistir a la clase, por decir algo, ese es attendance. Sí, de asistir, de dar asistencia técnica, por ejemplo, de dar soporte, ¿ya? O de, de dar ayuda. Entonces, does she ask for assistance como does she ask for help? Yes. Como su ayudante. Que si ella pide ayuda, ask for assistance. Does she ask for assistance? Yes, she dos does. Dos posibles respuestas. Yes, she does or? Yes, she does. Yes. No, she does. No, no, she doesn't. Exactly. Does she ask for assistance? Yes, she does. Or? No, she doesn't. No, she does. does he drive the truck on weekends? Yes, he does. Yes, yes he does. He does. Or? She does. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Recuerden, la palabra yes o la palabra no siempre va. Y luego va el pronombre y luego va el auxiliar, ya sea de forma afirmativa o de forma negativa. Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does Elena make phone calls? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Or no, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Does our company check the policies? Yes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Porque aquí el sujeto de la pregunta es la compañía. Does our company, nuestra compañía, check the policies? Si revisa las políticas, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. right. Ahora tenemos un reto. Basándonos en la respuesta que tenemos. Ok, esto es como un, un tip o un trick, ¿eh? un truco. Cuando tenemos ese tipo de ejercicio, ¿cómo vamos a saber cuál es la pregunta? Obviamente nos guiamos o tomamos ideas de lo que ya sea en la respuesta. Digo... Yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. Digo, sí, él lo hace. Él arregla el aire acondicionado los viernes. AC, este AC es la abreviación de Air Conditioner. 
¿Sí? Entonces, ¿qué tuvo que haber preguntado para que le den esta respuesta? Does he fix Does he the fix AC it? on Friday? Exactly. Does he fix the AC on Friday? Si se fijan, aquí el sujeto es he, pero al verbo ya no le ponemos es, ni s, ni nada, porque ya iniciamos la pregunta con un auxiliary. ¿Sí? En este caso, como ya es, ya tenemos un auxiliar, ya el verbo no necesita agregársele nada. ¿Está claro? Bye. Vamos a resolver. Sorry. Y me compliqué con esto. Wait a minute. Voy a dejar de compartir y lo vuelvo a compartir para que me deje una vez la PowerPoint. Regresar. Uh -huh. Acá estábamos. Bye. One second, please. One second. My PowerPoint is very rebellious today. Right. Me indican si pueden ver. Yes. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. Right. Como les estaba explicando, before this thing got confused. Vamos a guiarnos de la respuesta, ¿verdad? Bye. ¿Y cómo me dijeron que había quedado la primera? Uh -huh. Repeat, please. Sí. Does he fix the AC? Does he fix the AC on Friday? On Friday. Fix. Okay. Friday. Mm -hmm. On Friday, so it's just one Friday. Okay, does he fix the AC on Friday? Yes, he does. He fixes the AC on Friday. Okay, number two. Yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. Mm -hmm. Does she mm -hmm. send? Does she send? Does she send many emails? Mm -hmm. Many emails to customers. Okay. Does she send many emails to customers? Yes, she does. She sends many emails. Igual, si no le ponemos el many en la equation, es aún así tiene sentido. Como ella envía correos. Yes, she does. She sends many emails to customers. Yes. My goodness, my neighbors don't start getting upset. All right, now she doesn't. Number three, she cleans the first floor only. Does she clean, Does she clean the, the second floor? Mm -hmm. Does she clean the second floor? Ella no, the fears. Ajá, en la respuesta dice... She cleans the first floor only. Ah, sí. Ajá, ¿tiene mm -hmm. sentido si yo le digo, y ella limpia el segundo piso? No, ella no limpia el segundo piso, ella solo limpia el primer piso. Mm -hmm. Yes. First. Does she clean the second floor? No, she doesn't. She cleans the first floor only. Yes, es más, pude haber, pude haber dicho second, third, fourth, fifth, cualquier otro piso, right? Y cuando ella le hace la aclaración, no, ella no lo hace, solamente le toca el primero. Yes? Yes, yes he does. Eddie keeps tracks on the sales. Does he? Does Eddie? 
Does Eric? No. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Keep. Keep track. Keep track on the on the sales. Mm -hmm. Does Eric keep track on the sales? Yes, he does. Eric keeps track on the sales, right? Clear? Clear as the water. <laughs> okay. Great. Uh -huh. Aquí teníamos las, las questions. Okay. The second floor. All right. Questions? No? No questions? Perfect. Bye. Hoy sí, vamos a trabajar en este exercise. Ustedes van a decidir si la question lleva do o lleva does. Si ¿Sí copiaron para cuál es sujeto era do y para cuál es sujeto era does en las questions. I, you, we, they, do. He, she, it, does. Bye. Vamos a hacer nuevos grupos para trabajar con alguien más. Let's see. Recreate the groups. Voy a hacer menos grupos para que queden más personas. Let's see. Y todos colaboran. All right. Eh, vamos a poner la correcta verdad en la, en la oración uh -huh. sería bueno la uno es das verdad ahorita que no me carga esto <ríe> yes uh -huh. Does my friend Alan? La segunda. Vaya, yes. My friend and you, we, we. Igual das, ¿verdad? Es dos, ajá. Uh -huh. Dos. Dos de grandfather, right? Almost. El abuelo. The second is that, that's the grandfather. That's him. That's yes. Him. Ajá, that's him. Porque es él, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. 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 Do you read Do. a lot of books? Do you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you read with do you a lot of books? Like what do they? Do they sleep in the do sofa? Do they sleep? Uh -huh. La cinco sería do. Do. Does. Do my student. Sería tú, ¿verdad? Ajá, porque está hablando de... ¿De De mí, yo. Mm. No, sino ah, que no, también ¿verdad? dice my student. No. Ajá, my student. Habla de no. ellos. De ellos está hablando. En plural. Pero eh, es... Ah. No, pero como habla de... Es... She, she or she. 
Entonces, does, does the teacher does. speak? Does the teacher, the teacher speak French? Does. Es que no veo. Por eso hablando de él, ¿eh? Uh -huh. das, das, Ricardo, tú, Francis, in the morning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Das. Uh -huh. Y la ocho. La teacher. Eh, das también. Uh -huh. El teacher. Eh, en las cinco dijimos, es das, ¿verdad? Do, tú. En las cinco, ah, sí, dijimos que como era como day, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ajá. Bacha, y en la otra, ¿verdad? Entonces nos quedó así. En el 1, tú. En el 2, das. No, en el 1, das. Y en el 2 también, das. Ah, sí, es que. Ah, oh, my dad. Sería. Das. Does my dad das. work as a doctor? As a doctor. Mm -hmm. Das. Sí. Ahora, number seven. Nuevamente Ricardo. nos referimos a Ricardo, así que sería he. Y sería Ricardo. Uh -huh. Does Ricardo could breakfast in the morning? Does Ricardo cook breakfast in the morning? Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Number eight. Ahora la número seis. Dice, my dad go as a doctor. Sería, dad. Does my dad work as a doctor? Sería, das, ¿verdad? Does my dad. My dad work as doctor. La número siete. Do, Ricardo. Do Ricardo uh -huh. cook breakfast in the morning? Do, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sí, porque es que sería entonces tú sí uh -huh. que tú es para if you we they y das es para he she and it he she y hay un it y hay un it aquí en la no verdad no, porque no, en ninguna está hablando de ninguna cosa, ¿eh? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Ah, en la dos, ¿cuál pusimos? Dos. Ah, pero es. Es que dice de una, dos, de gran El abuelo maneja una motocicleta, está preguntando. Uh -huh. Sí, tiene que ver. Das. Sí. Das. Ready. <laughs> Okay. 
All right, done. Finish. Nice. Okay, do or does? <laughs> That's the question. Does. <laughs> In the first one, right? Yes. <laughs> Does my friend Alan play play football after school? Okay. No sé si se fijaron. Pero en esta hay un error. ¿Cuál es el error? Play. Play. Exactly. <laughs> si yo ya tengo el auxiliary, yo ya no necesito esta letra S. Yes. So, la vamos a manchar. Does my friend Alan play football after school? Mm -hmm. Next. Does. Does the grandfather ride a motorcycle? Next. Do. Do, do you read? Do you read a lot of books? Which I mean, I don't know. A lot Next. Do. Do they, do sleep? they sleep in the sofa? Mm -hmm. they sleep so. Next. Do, do my students. Do my students study a lot of English? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> okay. Number six. Does my dad, Does my dad work as a doctor? Was, was a doctor. Mm -hmm. Does yes. my dad work as a yes. doctor? Next. Yes. Yes. Ah. Ah. Does Ricardo cook breakfast in the Does morning? Does Ricardo cook breakfast in the morning? Does the teacher speak French? Does the teacher speak French? ¿Cuál es el error acá? Six. Ya no necesitamos la S. La S la necesitamos solamente en... Do. Primera persona. In affirmative, third person. Affirmative. No in questions, ni tampoco in negative. Just affirmative statements. All right? Okie dokie. No questions? No answers. <laughs> okay. Do you like coffee? Can I respond to this? Yes. No. No le gusta. Yeah. No, I don't. Yes, I, I do. do. No, I yes, don't. I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes. Do you like vegetables? Yes, I, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Sometimes. Sometimes. No. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Aquí no hay medias. Or yes or no. Just kidding. Yes, Solo sometimes. para que practiquen. Okay, maybe. Sometimes. No, eso. ¿Qué es eso? <laughs> Do you like pizza sandwiches or hamburgers? No, I don't. No, I, don't. <laughs> yes, I, I do. like all of them. Yes, yes I, I do. do. No, I They're don't. good. I love. Do you I like, like candies? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> do you have a doll? Yes, I yes, do. I do. <laughs> yes, I have. Okay, no, tiene... no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. Yes, I do. do you sleep? Early? No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't because I have a class. Okay. Uh, do you use a computer? Yes, I do. Yes, yes I, I do. do. All right. Okay. 
¿A quién le tocaría este día quedarse? Veamos. Ay, la attendance. Permítame la verificación. Yes. yes. Double check the attendance. Ok. Norma, Celia, Claudia. Present. My Concepción. Terminamos. Maris, Elsie, Ever, Iris, Joanna. Jo Present. Joanna, Present. Stephanie. ¿Ya no se incorporó? No, ¿verdad? Juan Ramón, Judith, Carla, Lisette, Marcela. Mariana. Tampoco, no lo logro mañana. Marina, Jancy, Mirna, Mónica, Tania, en Raquel. Ok, ajá. La otra vez se quedó. Milagro, okay, sí, milagro. Yes. Ajá, Mr. Evermena, your turn. Are you ready? Good night. Good night. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Blessings. Uh, Mr. Ever. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you. See you. Ready. <laughs> Not ready. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. Wait a moment, please. Yes, no problem. Go ahead. Good night. Este, una pregunta, yeah, yeah. este, dijo mi nombre. Déjeme, dijo mi double nombre check, que double check. Rara. Es que yo escuché que dijo Judy, ajá. No se recuerda qué número es. Judy and I mean, right? Sí, aquí está, Judith. ¿Está correcto? Sí se lo pronuncia correcto, Judith. Sí. All right. Sí, sí, sí. Sí. Ah, yes. Good night. Solo era para corroborar la asistencia, Judith. No se preocupe, pero no, ah, no, sí, no, no le corresponde. Don't worry. Ah, okay. Yes, good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Blessings. Bye. All right. Questions. Do you have any question or alguna duda? No, I don't have a question. You don't have so, any question. Just a review. Just a review. Okay, let's do a review. Tell me about yourself. Today? Yes. Oh, well, about yourself, it's like you, your personal information. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't get it. You don't I... get it. Okay, yeah. when I say tell me about yourself, it's like usted me habla de usted. Like your personal information, your occupation, your age, your likes. My name is, my last name is. Okay. That is your personal information. No entiendo todo, pero bueno. It's uh, all right, no problem. Yeah, so. My name is Ever Alexander Menargueta. Mm -hmm. I live in San Francisco, Otera, City. Uh, I live with alone. I live alone. I live alone. Yeah, I live alone. Mm -hmm. um, I have a 23 years old. I am. Um, so I work in the San Miguel. In San Miguel City. I work in San Miguel City. I work in the um, a company of guns mm -hmm. and munition. Mm -hmm. no sé. What Chat. do you do? I am study and um, work. Mm -hmm. What do you do in the company? Oh, I am manager. I'm a manager of any You're department? Um, San Miguel? Yes, that is the city, but the department in the company, sales, marketing, advertising. So a manager general. A general manager. Yeah, general right. manager. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I am in the, uh, I, I'm so el It's okay, it's okay. I'm in charge. Eh, eh, soy el encargado de, de todas las áreas, eh, el área de control, el área de el quality control. control. Sí, 
Todo. Everything. Oh my God. Todo. Todo. Dice, I'm in charge. Así se dice, estoy a cargo de. I'm in charge oh, I'm of in charge. all the areas. So, ¿A qué se dedica la company? What, what does the company do? Eh, venta de armas y municiones. Really? <laughs> okay. I don't know. En un momento percibí que había dicho champú, and I'm like, what? Bom, all right, so uh, it's, bom, it's weapons bom. and munitions. Uh, mm -hmm. Weapons and munitions. Okay. Really, we have this type of company in El Salvador. It's a surprise Hola. I didn't know. No pensé que teníamos este tipo de compañías en our country. Yeah, also eh, se clasifica como electro M y M S A D C B mm. eh, como venta de accesorios no identificados previamente. All right. Porque pues en el marketing eh, no, no hay un área para eso. Vendemos esto ¿eh? teóricamente. Mm. So, yo las hago, yo las, yo las ensamblo, yo tengo que, que pues sí, of hacerlo. Course. I know. Sí, pues, It's your bueno. job. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. my job. Mm -hmm. Entonces. And there are many people working in this company. Um, like, si hay muchas personas que trabajan in this company. Yeah. A lot. Um, no, every five. Only five. Only five, Only five per, yeah. All right. Only five so person. the staff is small. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is small. Right. And what's your so, schedule like? Um, for example, um, the recursos humanos. Human resources. Um, later, the la, la encargada de efectivo, no sé cómo se dice. Of the financial department? Y pues está la otra muchacha, no sé cómo se llama. The secretary, the receptionist. Yes. Mm -hmm. The secretary and um, the publicity. Yeah. Marketing? Marketing. Marketing. Mm -hmm. Advertising? So I, um, um, so I am, uh, the, ¿cómo me dijo que se decía encargado? I'm in charge. I'm, in charge. De, I'm in, charge of in charge of all the other areas. All the other areas. Okay. And your family lives in, in Morel Santo? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's great. Yeah. So you are from El Salvador? Uh, yeah, I am from El Salvador. Okay. Is it true that in Morel Santo there are people from other countries from Central America? <laughs> oh, <es mito. laughs> uh, uh, un poco más lento, please. <laughs> All right. Es cierto que en Monazán hay personas de otros países de Centroamérica. Oh. Viviendo? Mm -hmm. Or working? Living or working? Um, mito. Really? <laughs> There are not people from Central America. Uh, yeah. Vienen, pero pues temporal. Ah, uh, they come to visit and they leave. Or they come yeah. to work and they come. leave. Or they come for business and they leave. Yeah. Mm. Uh, vienen visitas a familias, pero no trabajan acá, no se quedan acá. Okay. A menos que pues ya sean deportados. Ah, okay. yeah. Interesting. So, um, yes, because I, I don't know. I just had the, the idea that many people come from Central America, for instance, from Nicaragua or from Honduras. In a state. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They stay. Yeah, yeah, um, it's, it's, it's true. It's true. In San Miguel, too. It's true. It's um, true. True. Mm, yes, because I heard that. I mean, there are a lot of people from those Central American countries. All right, nice. What else, Mr. Ever? What else do you want to practice? Did you understand? the uh, lesson for the simple present um yeah all right it's not a I, new it's not a new topic for you um it's, it's new it's new it's, it's the new. first time you listen uh, to the explanation yeah it, it's the first time um i get it the, the simple person <laughs> all the structures affirmative negative yes no question yeah, okay. yeah. short answers yeah, yes I, the I, I auxiliaries get it. I, yeah 
I get it. So, I know it's a lot but, of information, right? Yeah. It is a lot of information. It's true. Yeah, lo, lo entendía, pero, pero no sabía. Oh, esto es porque. Es Why? La razón es porque. Uh -huh. I get you. And you studied English before? Um, the, el básico. A basic? At school? At the university? In the school, in the university, so uh, only two modules, only two cycles. Two semesters. Yeah, two semesters. Yes, two semesters. So, and you didn't um, study English at the university. Yeah, I am studying in the university uh, accounting. Accounting. Yeah. I yeah. Am, I am uh, um, in the accounting. I have a bachelor degree in accounting. Okay. Uh, That's a bachelor de degree, es una licenciatura in accounting. Yeah. In San Miguel. In San Miguel. In the in, what, uh, in the uh, Univo. In Univo University. Yeah. Yes. I have friends who work in Univo. Oh yeah. Yes, because um, teachers, you know, so, work everywhere. Uh, <laughs> um como le explico. Bueno, no sé. Yo estaba como oyente anteriormente en estas clases. Really? Pero pues no sé si usted conoce a Pedro Vázquez. Pedro Vázquez. No, pero there are other él teachers es, that I know. Él, es, él estuvo, bueno, en, en el extranjero también. Uh, y es también de acá de Morazán. Ah, la, nice. La, 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 como el inglés intermedio, pero de... That's good. Maybe yeah. one of these days lo voy a conocer, probably. Yeah, yeah it's because uh, up to now I only teach online. Solo puedo dar clases online porque ya es como bien tarde, right? So at this sí. time, imagine finishing the class over there, I will have to come. So it would be very difficult. Yes, por eso no tenía. Live? I live here near the Universidad de Salvador, in San Salvador. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I have another job during the day. So at night, I just teach this class. That's why I don't teach in person. Yeah, and I, and I think teaching online is more interesting because there are people from different cities in all the country. Okay. That's why I like it better. That's great. Nice to meet you, Mr. ¿Cómo siguió de, de, de su hospitalization? Pues fíjese que el tema era... Um, Bacteria. Para mí, para mí era un poco, pues, um, básico decía, pero pues se extendió un poco. Eh, el tema era que se, los dolores en la parte derecha del abdomen estaban aumentando. Entonces, eh, bueno, con una ultra le llaman. No, pues ultrasound. Yeah, se identificó que, bueno, era una tipo piedrita. Eh, pues queriendo no. salir, ¿no? Entonces, ese era el, todo el tema. Una piedrita como granito de arena uh -huh. era todo el tema. Goodness, pero ya estuvo, no le van a hacer surgery. Ah, um, no, medicamentos y todo Thank lo demás. Eh, ejercicio literal, tengo que. Yeah. Yes, yeah. porque I have a friend y si yo ya le dejaron surgery. Ya tiene todos los exams, pero por una media cosita se, se, se pone muy mal y la hospitalizan por dos o tres horas, luego le, le inyectan medicamentos, luego sí. la vuelven a hacer y así está. En, ya me parece. That's terrible. Yeah. Me pareció muy extraño porque, bueno, eh, era como a principios de este mes ya me había hecho el chequeo general, totalmente. Uh -huh. Pues luego de eso caí así. Entonces, qué raro. Yes. Pero no sé. Es so pues, difícil to, to be in a hospital. Yeah. <risa> so, But thank God, thank God you're fine. And your family se preocupó. Sí, sí. Bueno, como pues ellos se enteraron cuando yo estaba allá. Imagine. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But, but thank God. Thank God. There's still hope. <laughs> Hay esperanza. Yeah. Okay. Nice talking to you. Okay. Take care. Okay. God bless you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. next class, teacher. Yes. See you. Bye. Bye.